Now at over 800 restaurants, Wingstop is on track to achieve its 12th straight year of same-store sales increases. That is no small feat in the ultra-competitive fast food business. Joining me today to discuss the company is Wingstop President and CEO, Charlie Morrison. Thanks for taking the time today. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, I have to first start off because it's the biggest news in the restaurant industry now is Chipotle's E. coli outbreak. Mm -hmm. I mean, their sales fell 16% in November, almost unheard of. You know, as you watch the situation unfold, have you seen any impact on Wingstop, and are you reviewing your quality control measures? Well, uh, I, I can't say that we've, had, we've seen any specific impact on Wingstop. Um, we're always making sure that we put every uh, ele element of care into the supply chain and making sure that our product always remains fresh. We, we do provide fresh chicken wings um, to our customers, so we ensure that our cold chain is monitored from the moment it, the, the product is available at the supplier all the way to the restaurant. And uh, we have very strict standards um, that we adhere to in our restaurants to ensure that um, challenges like that uh, uh, don't, don't hit us. Have you been surprised, I'm sure you've just been watching, have you been surprised how much it's, it's just spread you know, that hasn't seemed to, I guess, die down? Uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate um, that it has happened that way. Um, it's, uh, you always want to do everything you can to take care to mitigate against any spread of anything like that. And certainly at Wingstop, we don't have a lot of produce in our uh, particular restaurants, which uh, can be a carrier for it. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it all comes down to making sure you're taking very good care of your product um, all the way through. And looking towards next year, uh, finally, looks like some relief on chicken wing prices. Uh, how should that impact you guys? Well, I, th I think it's going to be favorable for us. As long as the market holds the way we think it will, um, there's a lot of supply of product out there today. Um, we've seen much lower chicken prices, uh, especially chicken wing prices, in the fourth quarter this year. And I would expect that that'll carry into next year, which is great for our franchisees. Uh, for them, it means more cash to their bottom line, which means continued reinvestment. And in our pipeline of restaurant development in the U.S., 74% of that development is made up of existing franchisees reinvesting in the business. So with lower wing prices, that always means a good thing for us. You can almost keep prices pretty stable then next year. You guys have been historically not raised prices significantly, but you can Yeah, we haven't, we haven't raised prices significantly in the past. Um, I would expect that next year um, the, head, uh, the tailwind uh, associated with the wing prices is going to be beneficial for us so that we don't have to uh, take too much price. Who for our stomachs? And then yeah. uh, lastly, you know, if I look at the stock prices of, the, of some of the latest restaurants, you know, Shake Shack is down 52% from its 52 week high. Fogo de Chao down 42%. Even you guys, you had a good, strong uh, third quarter. Stock's down 32% since the June IPO day. How do you explain this? Has there been some kind of bursting in the, in the market here? Well, it's hard, to, it's hard to explain exactly what all that's about. Um, you know, our focus is to uh, take care of our shareholders, continue to drive fantastic results. In the third quarter alone, our same store sales were up 6.3%. Um, we're on pace to deliver uh, 125 to 130 net new openings this year. So our job, very focused on continuing to grow the brand, grow our same store sales, and add restaurants all over the world. Now that I have, actually have a couple, minutes, a couple of seconds more, biggest food trend you're watching or flavor trend you're watching for next year? Uh, you get success with the spicy Korean yeah, Q. Yeah, we, you know, we just finished up with spicy Korean Q. Right now we're rolling out uh, some uh, marketing around our number one top selling flavor, which is lemon pepper, which is uh, maybe not a current food trend, but it's definitely one of the greatest flavors in our, bre our brand. It's been there since the very first uh, day. And as I mentioned, our top fl selling flavor. Uh, so we're always watching food trends. We're always looking for something exciting and new. And uh, when we find that, that we think it's cutting edge, it's bold, distinct, and craveable, it'll be something that'll hit our menu. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, good luck for the rest of the year. Glad to be here. Thanks for having Thank me. You.